Okay, beauty, so I'm trying to make a quick, quick budget-friendly meal, y'all. This is a seafood uh, okra. So what I did was I got a package of sausage, which I used half of the link. I bought one of those $5 and something bag of shrimp that you get out of Walmart. Um, and I got some of that chicken. I usually use the rotisserie chicken that come in those little bags, too. That's like $3 and something. But they didn't have it, so I had to use the blackened chicken. Hopefully that won't make too big of a difference for the bag. But anyway, y'all, so now I'm just letting this cook down just until the shrimp get done. I season it just a little bit with some salt and pepper. So I'm going to let that cook down. And then once that cooks down, I add my okra. And then in the okra, and I just got a frozen bag of okra. I will add this whole can of diced tomatoes. And then I may or may not add this small can of tomato sauce. We'll see. And this is an 8 ounce. I usually don't put all of this in here, but we'll see. And the Rotel, I usually put all of this in here, and it is a 14.5 ounce. And it's Rotel, y'all. It's just a Walmart brand. And then I'll just season it to taste. I will definitely put some gumbo filet in there. Y'all, I used to call this gumbo, but after tasting my daughters and my husbands, I say, girl, you got to stop disrespecting gumbo like that. Because, child, they be doing a whole roux. <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, but the seasonings, I definitely do um, the gumbo filet do i have it over here somewhere let me see is it over here oh i got this little thing of it so i'm gonna use this little bit that's up in here but i bought some more today y'all so i'm gonna use some of this and then i'll season it however else i need to season it but i will show y'all um when it's coming together okay beauty so i have now just added the okra i added a little seasoning uh season of choice like i said y'all you can use salt and pepper if you want to and that's it or whatever you want to use Okay, and then, uh, but I used um, Greek, Greek seasoning. That's basically, that's basically what I use. And sometimes I add a little pepper, but sometimes I use um, the uh, bouillon, the beef bouillon or the chicken bouillon, but I'm just using the Greek today. And then after this has cooked down, I will add my uh, diced tomatoes and my little bit of tomato sauce. And then I add some more gumbo filet. But that's it, y'all. So I'm going to put the, and I didn't add no um, liquid in here because the okra was frozen. The shrimp was froze when they got up in there. The sausage was froze, so it's making its own water. Now, I might add a little broth, you know, if I want to, if I choose to. But I haven't did none of that yet. But I will definitely let you know if I do, okay? So now I'm just going to stir this up real good like I was doing. And then I'm going to put the top on it and put it on like three or four, you know. All right, so once the okra look like it's half ready to do something else with, I will show y'all what else I do. Okay, beauty, so the okra has cooked a little bit. I'm going to add like a cup of broth to this, and then I'm going to add this whole can of diced tomatoes. I don't think I'm going to do the tomato sauce. And then once I add the cup of broth, the diced tomatoes, which is another thing for Rotel, I'm going to season it again. I'm going to put my gumbo filet in it, and then after it's finally cooked and done i'm just gonna taste it and see if it tastes like a seafood you know how i like it and that's gonna be that so here is the finished product y'all i just turned it off and i'm eating it it's good and it's going to be even better when the season is sitting in if you can wait for like 30 minutes or an hour once that season is sitting in baby it's gonna be all she wrote but yeah y'all so i added the broth i did my seasoning added a little bit bold gumbo filet Add a tiny little bit of sugar. And that's that. It is so good. I've already fixed me a little plate right here, y'all. I had some leftover cornbread. And I'm finna dive in.